To pull data from a pivot table, you can use the get pivot data formula. We'll see how to create that quickly and look at the problem you might have if you're trying to use dates. Here we've got a little table that shows cities and the quantity sold in each city. In cell E4, I'm going to click, type an equal sign, and then click on the quantity for Boston. That creates a get pivot data formula. It's going to show me the quantity for the pivot table that's in B3, and it will show the city of Boston. When I press enter, there's the number that matches the quantity for Boston. This works very well, and you can also edit the formula. So instead of showing Boston, I could select this and type Seattle, and that shows the value for Seattle. You might run into problems, though, if you're using dates. So here we have a text field, but in some pivot tables, you might have dates in the row. So here we've got row labels that show dates. And if I use a formula to pull the quantity for 1113, it's giving me a ref error. So the date that I've typed here, 1113, I can see that date in the pivot table, but this is text and this is going to be treated as division by Excel. So it's taking one, dividing it by one and then dividing by 13. So that won't match because it's text. I'll try putting quote marks around it. When I press enter, it still gives me a ref error. When I'm using text, it requires an exact match. So this isn't the same to Excel as 01 Jan 13. I can type Jan. When I press enter now, it shows the correct amount because this text is the same as one of the row labels. Another option is to use the date value function with a typed date. So here we can see 1113 and that's giving the ref error because there's no exact match for that text. But if I put date value function around that, open bracket and then a close bracket at the end. So I still have a date in a different format than what's in the pivot table but the date value will help Excel find the date that matches this in the row labels. Another option is to use the date function. So here I'm going to delete that date and the quotes, type the date function, open bracket, and then the year, 2013, month one, day one, and close the bracket. And that will also find a matching date within the row labels. And you could change that so a different day if I type an 8 there it finds the quantity for the 8th of January and one last option I'll show you is instead of putting a date in the formula we could put a date in a worksheet cell and that's not in the same format that's in the pivot table but in the get pivot data function I will change this text reference to a cell reference so whatever's in E2 is what I'm looking for. And even though this is a different format, it will find the matching date and show the quantity for that. And by using a cell reference, it makes it easy to change the date. So just type a different date on the worksheet instead of going into the formula to make a change. For more Excel tips and tutorials, and to download the sample file from this video, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.